We're back, start of another week. It's a grand Monday here in Dublin. The L M fifty is back there again, moving for once. Um, so today we're going to talk about another item that went out. Customer actually collected it there a short while ago. Um, Star Adventure GTI, the small equatorial mount. And we'll cover a little bit about what's up there in the night sky. Not that it's a huge amount different than it was um, at the weekend. So yeah, let's get down to that one. How's it going? Okay then, first things first. The t-shirt, if anybody recognizes it, fair play to you. If you know, you know. Um, Dane Beer Metal Detecting Club. Um, so, the night sky. We did the night sky on, I think, Friday or Saturday. It's not a huge amount different now. It tends to move quite slowly, stuff going on. There's a couple of planets up, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, kind of late, three 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, here in Ireland, it gets starts to get bright about half 4. gets fully dark, probably about half 11. So we don't get a whole lot of darkness, really. Um, deep sky stuff, most of us tend to not bother even looking for at this time of the year, unless you're like mad into it or a newcomer or something where you want to see everything. Um, there's a couple of comments up there. We discussed them in the last video. They're still there, firing around. Uh, I think there are two of them, if I remember right, are circumpolar, so they'll always be there. Um, so, on to today one. With a customer waiting on these to come in. They arrived in this morning from Skywatcher. Um, Star Adventure GTI. It is a go-to equatorial mount with a payload of about five, five and a half kilos, something like that. It's basically the entry-level equatorial go-to mount that you would get if you were budget constricted and you wanted to do some deep sky photography with say your DSLR camera at home, maybe just a camera sitting on it with a lens or uh, a small telescope up to like maybe 72, 80 mil or a 130 mil reflector, the dual speed PDS models. Um, it's perfect for that. I have one here. You can get it on its own or you can get it with the tripod as well. Uh, most people tend to get it with the tripod. Um, it's just like any other equatorial mount to set up. The only difference is it's smaller. So the payload is less than say you would get with HEQ5 or an eq 6 or or Celestron's Advanced VX or CGX or CGXL. The main difference in all the mounts is generally just the payload that it takes. So when you're looking to get into astrophotography, deep sky astrophotography that is, and you are budget restricted, the main restriction will be on the future weight of a telescope you're going to be able to put on that mount. And it's always something we discuss here with customers when they come in. Um, they might have aspirations to get, you know, X, Y, Z, but the budget just doesn't allow them. And basically, if you were to get a Star Adventure GTI and say a 130 PDS reflector, um, the parabolic dual speed one, or even like a 72 mil refractor, and a decent power supply, like to go with that, that'll power it off for the night rather than running it off the batteries that they, they do generally run off. You're talking like 11, 1200 odd euro. And that's kind of your minimum. The, the lesser way of getting into it would be with the Star Adventure GTI and using your DSLR camera with lenses. So basically say a 14 mil Samyang lens will give you the entire Milky Way. You can shoot away at that, no problem. And then the longer or the larger that number, the narrower you get until you get up to like 200 mil lenses, 300 mil lenses, and um, where you're really focusing in on say individual areas of the sky, maybe some of the larger nebulas, some of the larger galaxies, stuff like that. Um, so you can just use it with a camera with lenses. There's absolutely nothing stopping you doing that and kind of getting in and out at about like 700, 750 euro with a view down the road of getting a telescope. But once you move beyond say, your small 72 mil doublets or 80 mil doublets and that, and say you want to put a 100 mil triplet or one of the larger refractors, you're buying another amount. There's no two ways about it. So this customer was in, he's been dallying around with Altaz mounts, doing a little bit of like kind of tracking as much as he can and kind of learning the ropes. He's learning a bit of processing and that as well. And um, I think using other people's files just so that when he gets up and running with this thing, he kind of can hit the ground running a little bit. Um, this customer also has a C-Star, C-Star S50, the ZW outing, so he can play with that as well when, while he was waiting on this. Um, so he essentially went for it because, again, like most or a lot of people, he's budget restricted. He had around about a grant to spend. Um, so this is what we landed on. I'll leave the link in the description below. It's a Star Adventure GTI. And don't forget, guys, if you like the content, and you like what we're doing here, and there'll be loads more videos, hopefully every day, if we can get things done. Um, 
just like and subscribe to the channel um, and let us know in the comments anything of relevance, any questions you have, or you can just message us through the usual channels, the chat on the website. WhatsApp is a fast one as well, or email if you like doing it the old traditional way. So yeah, that's it. Over and out.